a scrap of bloody fabric. It was one of those hair standing up on the back of your neck moments. A burnt out van. In my professional opinion, this van was burned to cover up a crime. Alleged sightings. What about the witnesses who said they had seen Lacey Peterson after she went missing? All detailed in a new bombshell court filing by the Innocence Project. When I heard they wanted to show actual innocence based on newly discovered evidence, my ears perked up. Could these pieces of evidence actually free Scott Peterson, a man convicted of the gruesome murder of his pregnant wife, Lacey, in a case that riveted the nation? There were an unbelievable amount of leads and pieces of evidence that pointed everywhere but Scott. Do you think Scott Peterson was proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? I think Scott Peterson murdered his wife and his child. Prove me wrong. The Los Angeles Innocence Project arguing that Scott is actually innocent. And from the start, authorities zeroed in on the wrong man. Mark Garagos, who defended celebrity clients like Winona Ryder and Michael Jackson, was Scott's defense attorney at trial. They weren't focused on actually finding out what happened. They were focused on trying to convict Scott, and that was a problem. The Innocence Project claims there were witnesses who weren't properly interviewed who say they saw Lacey Peterson on the day she went missing. Some of the people who actually saw Lacey that they should have talked to, they never did talk to. They also claim a burglary across the street from the Peterson home happened on the same day Lacey went missing and wasn't fully investigated. Their allegation here is that some witnesses believed that Lacey Peterson interrupted that burglary and then she was killed because of it by those who were involved in it. We looked at everybody that we could possibly find that we thought could be responsible for this or suspect of this. The Innocence Project also asking for more extensive DNA testing of a piece of fabric found in a burnt out van a mile away the day after Lacey's disappearance. That orange van had actually been seen where one of the witnesses saw Lacey. So there was a connection between the van and a possible Lacey sighting. So somebody's blood is on a mattress in the back of a van that was burned deliberately. Who? The Innocence Project effort is a combination of old evidence, new evidence, and they reveal a picture that's much different than what we think happened in the Peterson case. But is all that enough to set one of America's most infamous convicted killers free? Lacey Peterson was 27 and eight and a half months pregnant when she went missing on Christmas Eve in 2002. Married for five years, she and her husband, Scott, a fertilizer salesman, seemed like the perfect couple, preparing for their first child, who they named Connor. She was all smiles in her photos, and America was captivated by this story. On the day his wife went missing, Scott told friends he was going golfing, but later told authorities it was too cold. So instead, he went fishing, heading out to San Francisco Bay over 80 miles from home. John Bueller was one of the Modesto detectives assigned to the case. What was your impression of him over time? Well, Scott was rather aloof, um, incredible emotional control, uh, one of the best I've ever seen in my life. At the outset, her family didn't believe that Scott Peterson could have done this. And over time, that changed. At a candlelight vigil on New Year's Eve, eight days after she went missing, Lacey's family and friends say Scott was nowhere to be found. I do remember I didn't see Scott the entire evening. He was there, apparently, but I didn't see him. What they didn't realize is that while he was at the vigil, Scott called his mistress, Amber Fry, pretending he was in Paris. Amber, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Am I near the Eiffel Tower? Do you tell this is unreal? While he is supposed to be looking for his wife, pregnant wife, with their, their child, he is calling his mistress and telling her that he's at the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Who does that? The, the crowd is huge. The crowd's huge? Amber Fry, a massage therapist and single mom who met Scott a month before Lacey went missing. I really liked him and felt really good about where things were going and our conversations and time spent together.
She says Scott told her his wife had died. He was very emotional and said that this would be the first holidays without her. And he was crying at that point. It was only when she saw the media coverage of Lacey's disappearance that Amber realized her new lover was a liar. And so I went to the other room and called the Modesto Police Department hotline that they had. I was in shock. I mean, I literally was in shock. Working with the police, Amber began recording their phone calls. I'm in Brussels now. Oh, yeah, but that's right. You took the train to Brussels. Less than a month after Lacey disappeared, Amber went public with a bombshell announcement. We did have a romantic relationship. I am very sorry for Lacey's family and the, the pain that this has caused them and I pray for her safe return as well I found her to be very credible she didn't look like she wanted to be there she didn't look like she was soaking in all the media attention the world turned against him when Amber Fry came forward for Mark Garagos it was the first step in the public convicting his client it gives people the ability to suspend any kind of rational engagement with the evidence. All you have to do is listen to Scott on the tape recordings telling Amber that he's in Paris somewhere and, oh my God, he's a liar, he's a cheat. And therefore, apparently it's a short off-ramp to he's a murderer. As investigators zeroed in on Scott, he sat down with my colleague Diane Sawyer in a blockbuster exclusive interview. And I know that uh... Suspicion has turned me because of the inappropriate romantic um, uh, that I had with Amber Fry. Did your wife find out about it? I told my wife. When? In, um, early December. A lot of arguing? No, it would break us apart. There wasn't a lot of anger? No. Do you really expect people to believe that an eight and a half month pregnant woman learns her husband has had an affair and is saintly and casual about it? Accommodating, makes a peace with it? Well, I, yeah, I, you don't know. No one knows our relationship but us. In April, the bodies of Lacey and their son Connor were found washed ashore, not far from where Peterson said he'd been fishing on Christmas Eve. There is no question in our minds that the uned uh, unidentified female is Lacey Peterson. The unidentified fetus is the biological child of Lacey and Scott Peterson. Lacey Peterson's husband now in custody. Scott Peterson has been arrested. Charged with two counts of murder, his trial became a five-month media circus. With no direct evidence linking Peterson to their crime, prosecutors built their case on circumstantial evidence. We're breaking into programming to bring you the verdict in the Scott Peterson murder trial. It took the jury nine days to find Scott Peterson guilty of first-degree murder for Lacey and second-degree murder for Connor. We, the jury, in the above-entitled cause, find the defendant, Scott Lee Peterson, guilty of the crime of murder of Lacey Denise Peterson. This is not a case where the jurors somehow got snookered or pressured to convict. Scott was sentenced to death, but after 15 years on death row, the California Supreme Court reduced his term to life in prison, citing that his jury was improperly screened for bias against the death penalty while upholding his conviction, denying him a new trial. Scott Peterson has always maintained he did not kill his wife. The Los Angeles Innocence Project motion is now in the hands of San Mateo Superior Court. There's a number of options for the courts here. The most likely one is probably they're gonna do nothing. The second most likely would be they hold a hearing, which is possible that a hearing is held to assess what is the new evidence and from Scott Peterson's perspective, the best case scenario would be that he gets a new trial. 
Our thanks to Juju. You can watch more of Impact by Nightline. Scott Peterson, The Wrong Man, now streaming on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.